Hi folks, welcome to this lesson when we're going to talk about named functions. Honestly, these are such a great addition to Google Sheets. I'm super excited that we can name, save, and reuse our own functions. So before we had to create custom functions with app script, with code, it was a really high barrier to entry. Plus they were difficult to share. Now this just simplifies the whole thing because we can create these functions, give them a name, share the sheet, and then let the other person just import and use that function. Okay, so let's take a look at the first named function example. So first of all, we actually have to create the function itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say regex replace. So what we need to actually do is this. We take this text string. I'm taking the empty expression with nothing in it as my regular expression and saying insert the this funny symbol, which I've just gone and copied an emoji of a scissors. Go and put that in as the special character. And what it does is creates a, we don't want to autofill, it creates, it just adds that in front of each, in between each letter. So now I can wrap this with split. Uh, again, split. And now we're going to split on the scissors. We're going to chop on the scissors. And there we go, it splits into the different, it puts the characters in individual cells, but it's a really difficult formula to use, my word. Not many people would necessarily be able to write that formula just off the bat. So let's turn it into a named function that then uh, you know makes it much easier for us to use and all of our colleagues to use. So we'll say data, named functions, add new function. And we will call this split to char characters. Split to characters, um, you know, splits a, an input into individual cells. Now the formula definition, we'll go and copy this here. So just copy the whole thing drop that into there. Then it gives me, it recognizes that before, we're going to click before, and we're just going to call that anything you want, any, what's the variable, uh, the input there? We'll just say, we'll say cell, because it, it, it is a cell in this case. And you can see it replaces before with cell. Then we'll click next. Uh, and then it says, it asks me to describe, you know, what is this cell? And we'll say the uh, input to be split and an example might be, you know, A1, something in A1. And we'll click create. And there it is, it now exists. If I want to edit, it's there. If I want to remove it, it's there. If I can close the named functions, I can come down to here and I can say split. And here it is, you notice it's now showing up in my regular list of functions. It's got the named function tag there, I'll click it open it all out, it tells me the formula definition, it tells me what the input variable is and, and what it does. So we'll click that, uh, whoops, it lost my position there. So we'll click from here to there, B5, hit enter, and there it does. It just does that for us now. And how much easier is that to use split characters? Way easier just to use that than to have to write out the actual original expression ourselves. Now let's open up a blank sheet and let's go and use this you, or import and use a named function. So you can imagine uh, somebody else in the organization uh, wants to use that same function now. What you would do is you would come up to share uh, and share it with them and they would open it up um, or you know have access to it. Uh, then you want to come here, we'll say, data, named functions, import a function. And then you would need to go and find the one you're just using. So I'm going to go to recent, import. Uh, so we want this one here, the named functions, because this first one here is the one I'm actually in. So you want to give it a really easy name to remember. We'll click select. Uh, it then lists any functions I have. We'll click import. And boom, it's that easy. This 
is another string. Um, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll say split two characters to there, copy it down, and aha. So there we go, it doesn't work with numbers in this case. So we could maybe just put a, a little check in front of there. So let me zoom in for a second so you can see that. The little back, the little tick there just turns that, uh, it just makes the number there into a text string and then it does work with this formula. Now you could go back and alter the original split to characters to work with numbers as well. I'll leave that as a little exercise. All right, but that's how we use those new functions. We go to import and we just use that new function. So there we go. It's as easy as that. And this person here in this sheet doesn't need to know anything about the actual definition or how it works or how to um, create it. They just use it like any other function. So it's a really nice way to, to share and use those named functions. Okay, so we'll, we'll focus now on creating them. That's, you've seen how we import them. It's the same process for any other ones now. So let's go and look at um, example two, which is how are we going to reverse a string? So what I'm going to do is actually copy this because I really want this one uh, in here and it's before, so we've split it. Uh, then we were going to do the reduce. So this is, uh, we're going to say reduce. The initial value is uh, the empty string. This is then my array, which is all of the letters. But here we're just going to, using this uh, lambda over here, which simply just swaps the letters around each time. So I'm going to copy that function. It doesn't matter if I'm clicked actually on it when I create the name function. I just want to create copy the definition there. Name functions, add new function. Uh, we'll call this one reverse string v1. I'm just putting v1 because I'm going to create two of these in this example, but you wouldn't normally have that v1. I'm just keeping it there for, for us now. So this is uh, reverses a string. Drop in the formula definition. Click b4. It's a cell. We'll say define. And you can see it replaces the b4 there with cell, so it can be any reference. Uh, cell is the the string to be reversed. And uh, you know a1 is an example. And we'll click create. So we've got reverse string v1. So now we should be able to say reverse string v1. There's the definition with some information. You can put more than this if you want. Uh, I'm keeping it short to be quick. Click that, hit enter. And look at that, it reverses that string for me, lovely. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this one down again and just show you now, I've already created a named function to handle this. So I don't really need to put that inside. This was, this was unnecessary to define this again because we've already done that. So we could have said reduce, initial value was empty. Then I want to do my split to characters, my input, then my lambda, a, C, C, and A. And I can just use this split to characters that I already created the name function in other functions. So it fits into other functions. I didn't need to go and create this reinvent the wheel. And so I can use this one as well to create my named function. So, I'll, you know, I can reuse name functions inside of other name functions is, is what I'm getting at. So we'll copy that one. Uh, we'll come to data, named functions, add a new function, uh, reverse string v2. Uh, re yeah, it reverses a string. This time I'm going to copy this one in. And this time it's got the split to characters. b6, we'll switch out for cell. Next, cell is the string to reverse, and we'll say a1 could be an example. Click create. And this time now, I can reverse the string just v2. You wouldn't normally have v1 and v2. I just created it, as I said, for this example. There it goes. It works. And uh, if I double click and pop back in there to, to the definition, you can see that it uses this other split to characters 
inside of that name function. So it's using one other name function inside this one, and that helps keep this really nice and short. So there we go. So that's a really nice example of using two name functions there to, to create a useful name function. Great, so that was the reversing string that was building on the split to characters. But if you take anything away from this, just take away the fact that we can turn these very complex functions into really nice to use, easy to use functions. And that's the beauty of the named functions. Okay, great. That will do for this lesson. Thanks for watching, folks. And I will see you again in another lesson. Thanks now. Bye-bye.